Kitten, hello. Hello, hello. All right, then. Big fan of that Redding away kit. We want Schneg back. AFC Wimbledon against Redding. People who's telling me it's harsh on Bekic to lose the captaincy like that. We just lost 4-0 to the MK Dons. Can't really say much more, can we? Enzo Bardi has taken control of this thing. We have felt like a different side with a different attitude. So it's Enzo Bardi's armband. Eric Melville. Oh, gets a cross in. That was actually met by Adam Nichols. Took me by surprise. Django Swinkle still has the ball and gets it through to Adam Nichols. That is wonderful. Really quick reactions by Django Swinkles. And a positive run by Adam Nichols. Puts us in the lead before the six minute mark. Haven't looked at the results of the poll from last episode. Calamo Flannery's hair is still in the headband at the moment with the ponytail. Did look like we were gonna revert back to normal though. Ooh, nearly put that through. Oh, Bekic has lost that. Enzo! Woo! Enzo Bardi! And now on the counter attack. This is where we're deadly, so effective. Eric Melville jumps over the standing tackle. Yes, it's another Adam Nichols run. AFC Wimbledon corner kick, no let up. Here, oh, Schneeg hits the crossbar. That, oh, Schneeg, Schneeg, it's all yours, that me. Can't find a good partner for Dalibor Bekic. Basically an impossible job. Bekic does absolutely everything right there. Only needs Schneeg to step across. Similar thing happened last time, didn't it, with Jacob Vieira-Renan. Calamo Flannery. Oh, Obi Jack is nearly there. Calamo Flannery trying to cut inside. Now Django swinkles. Obi Jack has turns. Obi Jack has finishes. So lethal. I think we got another king. Like, he just feels like a king. You know, like Rosenberg would take us to that Next level, King Obby. Right, that's all Bright Chateau's that. Well played, a good start to the game by Bright Chateau. And boy, did he need it. Now he's lost it. Run back. We had way more of that first half. It should have been reflected on the scoreline. Here we go. Time to defend in the middle. Schneeg! Schneeg, this is all on Schneeg. You know what was happening. And now we're facing drawing against a team that we have clearly dominated. What is the answer? To that defense, Calamo Flannery! Yeah, no, it's behind Obby Jackers. Jacob Vieira Nan, center, yes. Oh, it's Marvelous Billiard! Oh, Marvelous Billiard's running for us! Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, we might have found the answer. Goodbye, Schneeg. Goodbye, Perrington. Hello, Marvelous Billiard! Out of all the players that I thought would score the winner, I just didn't think it would be Marvellous Billia. You can say it all you want. I wish Boris could work in this side. And I am doing him a disservice. I am doing him dirty. But Obi Jack has only had two chances in that match. I've got my own theory on why it's not working. A Conquo is way more effective as a sort of shadow striker. Shut up, Schneeg. Oh, yeah, whoop, whoop. So, from what I remember, these guys are not doing great in the league. It's Portsmouth against AFC Wimbledon. Interesting to know that this is a midweek game, either the Tuesday or the Wednesday after. Obi Jackers and Callum O'Flannery have recovered to a point where we can actually start them. There's got to be some significant increase in stamina levels somewhere. Let's get the bodies forward now. Dalibor Bekic pushing people on. A Conquo. You see the run of as like so. I'm going to pick that out. And that's easy. That's a goal. We are seeing a pattern emerging. Players like... Oh, could save Enzo Bardi. Morgan Collins, Victor Mathis. These players that could work in between the lines. Way, way more effective than someone like Pavel who would stick around on the shoulder of the last defender. In fact, to a point we had Wasim al Saad up front for a long, long time. And he was just a glorified central attacking midfielder. Oh, I've gone. I've gone. That question, once again, raising its head. Marvellous Billy out. The stand tackle is nowhere near. Django Swinkles. Ah, man. Just 
blast that thing into Obi Jackers and see if he can control it. Baba Kambon, hello? Is there a defender in there somewhere? Burgess, oh, has lost out to Obi Jackers. Yes, mate! If I say it's slight look, that is an understatement because Burgess should have had that ball but he fell on it. Can't really see it from there because the, the scaffolding at the top of the stadium is blocking our view. Want to keep Hobby Jackers in here. It is very, very tight. Enzo Bardi has been busy. Resting him up now. We'll get him ready for the weekend. 100%. I'm going to do it. Bondarchuk will be coming on for Hobby Jackers. That's our final sub. Oh, dear. Bondarchuk chasing his own touch out of play. Guadalcanquo! Oh! Oh, no! I mean, the change on the left-hand side here has been significant because we've been able to move the ball further up the field. Yep, a Conquo might be onside. Oh, the Canio volley. Yeah, we'll take that. Deflected straight back to him. The thickness steps up when Obi Jackers is not around. A Conquo. If Obi Jackers is our king, then a Conquo is the prince. Yes, a Conquo. Oh, Conquo. Oh, Conquo. Oh, Conquo. Marvellous, Bilia. Yeah. Bondarchuk. It's easy. It's not easy for Bondarchuk. It's all unraveling before your very eyes. Full time, it's Portsmouth 1, AFC Wimbledon 3. I pressed post match interview again, so this thing's going to crash. Nightmare. AFC Wimbledon against Queen's Park Rangers. Definitely played these away, so we're past the halfway stage in the season. Look at Marvellous Billy at running. Partnering Obi Jackers today is Elvis Bonoza. We have better forwards at our disposal. Great save, Enzo Bardi. We really are looking for someone like Wasim Al a glorified central attacking midfielder. Goose Swinkles. Oh, innocent for Fano! We've took a huge risk on the lineup with the two holding midfielders that can't create much. And here is one of them. He's not even 50 overall. Innocent for Fano is exceeding expectations. Adam Nichols should be watching over his shoulder because that could be the eventual replacement. Big tackle, thereby innocent for Fauna. Man's only 45 overall and he's playing way better than that. Goose Winkles! Oh! We are taking the Wasim the Dream route here. Elvis Benoza into Obi Jackers. Flicks it over one. Well, that is absolutely stunning. Sent that guy to the shops. He said, you know, just bring me back a drink and some crisps. Stop, please stop. Just stop being erratic. All right, boys, good block there. Cool, there's a turn. Uh, oh, what a save, Enzo! He's offside, he's offside. Great save, Enzo, Bardi. Off time. Even better news for that. Enzo, Bardi, Barmy Army just can't stop winning. I'm totally prepared that one day, Innocent for Fauna will replace Adam Nichols in that midfield. When's that going to be? On oh, Perrington. Now, nah, probably should have been able to stop that one. We know the issues with left back at the moment. Adam Nichols probably could make a decent left back if he really did try. Now we face a problem because we need Obi Jackers to get goals. Oh, especially if they score an equaliser. We might just scrap it and go pace mad up front. Hopefully Bright Chato can hold on. He's already looking a bit worse for wear. Look at this. I just don't know what's happened to him. Bright Chato is all over the place. He's worse than Ashley Young. It was so promising. We've lost that. We, I can't believe it. So in control, man. Oh, penalty! It's innocent for Vaughn who's fallen over. That's going to be a penalty. We're seeing it all change before your very eyes. Eric Melville takes the penalty and scores that. Who's up for Innocent for Fauna first team? Adam Nichols playing left back. Next generation, Yaya Torre. Yeah, Boris squeeze it. No, Boris! Absolute bottle. A really lacklustre second half performance recovered by that innocent Fafana foul. 
And Eric Melville converting from the spot. Oh, I've pressed post-match interview again. Ugh. Just received news that Finn Schmitz is wanting to cancel his youth contract. Well, there seems to be a lot of people who have just turned 16. But man like Finn Schmitz, he wants to go. I am going to release him. This is when it gets really tough at centre-back because there seems to be two very promising players here. At this moment in time, I just don't know which centre-backs are decent and which centre-backs are absolute frauds. They are all susceptible apart from Dalibor Bekic. We're going to try this. I think it might work. Adam Nichols, left back, innocent for Fauna. 45 overall, going to be first team. And then the man given the green light as our second centre-back, Marvellous Billia. Birmingham City against AFC Wimbledon. How can we be pretty decent and yet still have massive doubts about certain positions in the team? Innocent for far not. Hey! Hey! Okonkwo tries to play it across. Lovely! RB Jackers hits the post. Certainly a level of intimidation that I quite like. Innocent Fofana is going full throttle. Plays the ball and gets it back. Innocent Fofana, Obi Jack. Oh, why did he lock properly on Obi Jackers? Chip up. Obi Jackers has a lot to do and hits the crossbar from there. Innocent Fofana. There is a corner kick. It was on target. Keeper had to save. Eric Melville with the corner kick. Keep it in before half time. Oh, that is a pass, isn't it? He's on side. Unbelievable. Obi Jackers. Oh, we've hit the post three times. Oh, that is insane. Is this FIFA 19? The all innocent for Fauners wins the head. Django Swinkles has plenty of time now to pick out the ball to Obi Jackers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Crown. It's King Obby. Very, very solid defensively so far. Oh. Hey, what a save, Enzo Body! Get this out from the corner kick. Innocent for Fauna. Obby Jackers just fighting for it. Comes another shot. Beautiful goal. Wow. Well, that's took us right by surprise. Well done, a Conquo press. He's kept the dream of winning this. Game alive! Are you serious, referee? Genuinely blue on the dot. Obby Jackers. So unfortunate to hit the woodwork. Whoa, three times in that first half. Scores an absolute beauty that should have won us the game, but fair play. The individual effort from the edge of the box was outstanding in Birmingham City. Looking at the match facts, might have actually deserved the draw. There's a youth playoff. That once out, it's Alpha Duhu, the right back. What's our right back situation at the moment? Go you, Vieira Nan, and Spencer Hughes. That's pretty strong. So I am going to release him. I'm thinking these other three probably are going to get signed up. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.